Hey fam, it's your girl, Miss Diva Trucker. I'm coming to you today. I am officially, well, I'm out the hospital, okay? So I just wanted to come and give you all an update that I'm still in Orlando and Kissimmee. Um, I made it out the hospital uh, Tuesday. And um, hey, hey, Kina. And I made it out the hospital Tuesday. So, um, the nurse gave me everything that I needed. So, in order for me to, whenever you have surgery, y'all, in order, whenever you have surgery, in order for you to go back to work, um, I have to have a DOT physical, okay? So, um, the company set me up a DOT physical, uh, to take before I can get back in the truck, okay? So, um, I came to a place called Concentra. I don't know, uh, where it's, I mean, it's in Orlando, and it's on Orange Blossom, and I went in there, it's a walk-in, so you can walk in at any time, went in there and did my DO, full DOT physical, okay, and, uh, in order to return to work, so, again, I was able to, my blood pressure was okay, um, I'm not in any kind of pain or anything like that, um, and they gave me a, I got all these tape marks on my arm, y'all, from being stuck. I got all my, all these, um, bruises. Y'all see all that? All these, uh, like bruises from being stuck so many times. All the tape, the tape is kind of hard to get off, but I got all that on there. But I can't stay in Orlando forever, so I got to be able to get out of here. So, um, made a point, uh, did a walk-in today to, um, do a DOT physical and voila, I have another, uh, no, I don't have, uh, I don't have, uh, stitches or anything, but I do have an open wound, so I have to be careful and I have to make sure that, um, um, I change it every day, keep it clean and things like that. So I got plenty of supplies to be able to do that on my truck. Um, I got a two-year physical, so I was able to pass my uh, DOT physical, and I'm able to return to work. So I'm not on any kind of pain medication or anything like that, but I am on antibiotics. So the antibiotics that I'm on is fine. Uh, to be able to drive. I just have to take it for 10 days. It's going to be a while before my wound heals up. I'm saying about, it will probably be about four weeks before it heals up altogether. Um, but I just have to make sure that I keep it clean, wash it, and change it daily, okay? Um, but my diagnosis from the hospital was cellulitis. They think maybe I got like a... Uh, um, they think maybe I got back, I, I got a a, a, a a bug bite or something. I don't know what it was, but um, my diagnosis was cellulitis. So I had cellulitis in my stomach, and that's what had to be drained. But other than that, y'all, I'm feeling pretty good, not running any kind of fever or whatever. Um, like you can see, I'm driving, okay? So I drove myself here to the DOT physical place. And, um, uh, I, I went and got Ripley, uh, done. So he will be able, he got groomed and everything. Oh my God, his breath smells so good. Um, got him groomed and everything. So we will be leaving out of here on, um, Saturday. My goal is to get out of here by Saturday and get back on the road and back to work okay so you know that's what it is um you know being in the hospital let me tell y'all something being in the hospital if y'all have anybody that's in the hospital that's elderly or whatever i would suggest you know go check on them and make sure that they okay my roommate the lady that i had that was in the bed next to me um they ran every test she only had she had a slip and fall and they ran every test on her that you can imagine and the thing is you know she was unable to walk and the whole time that i was in there nobody gave her like a bath or anything so you know when you have 
your loved ones or anything like that in the hospital, make sure you have somebody to go by there and check on them and make sure they're being cared for properly, especially, you know, as far as the hygiene and all that kind of stuff. Um, because, you know, anything can happen in there. And I don't like being in hospitals. I don't like staying in hospitals. I feel like the longer you stay in there, the more things that they find wrong with you the longer you stay in there the uh more you start feeling depressed you're just laying in that bed it's not really anywhere you can go um and you know all these medicines that they offer you and things like that so i'm not a type of person that um if i can move if i can go i'm gone i'm out of there okay because if not you can really you know be in there for a long period of time and then you will have a long road to uh recovery trying to get yourself better so the best thing for me to do is to keep moving um keep pushing keep doing what i'm doing um and and take my medicine take my antibiotics and keep it pushing so other than that just wanted to give you an update let y'all know that i am good i told y'all when i made up that bed i wasn't getting back in it okay so i made up that bed for them they can have it somebody else can have my uh spot in the hospital room but i got to go i can't stay there but let me tell y'all something please don't let your family members be in the hospital by themselves if you can help it have people check on them have people make sure that they okay because they will do anything and everything and the longer that they're in there the sicker that they will get okay and the harder that it is for them to recover so that's why it's best for me to keep it moving i know y'all say you know take it easy take your time but like d silver told y'all my i got a hard head okay and i'm just not the type of person that could just sit around and wait on things to happen i gotta go y'all know when that truck is not moving we're not earning and i have a goal in mind and i gotta reach my goal so other than that y'all i'm feeling pretty good i'm feeling pretty okay i'm not running around no uh marathon i'm not you know out in the sun and stuff like that i'm just going to take care of the things that i gotta take care of today to make sure that I'm ready to get back on the road. And then I'm going to just take it easy. Other than that, that's it. I will talk to you all later. But I just wanted to come and give you an update. Thank you so much for your text. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much for your calls. Y'all, I have missed 137 calls. Okay? It's not that I'm ignoring you. I do apologize. I'm not. It's just sometimes that I am... Um, either like i was today in the uh in a dot clinic uh either in the hospital just taking it easy trying to rest so you know once i get back on that truck i will be back at it you know taking my time doing what i do um but yeah thank you so much i really appreciate it i will try to get back in touch with everybody that called me um uh, all the missed calls that i have but yeah 137 missed calls okay so that lets me know that y'all love me y'all care about me and y'all thinking about me and uh, wishing that i get better so um other than that y'all i got to go i'm on my way back i gotta go pick up my medicine make sure i got plenty of supplies um as far as uh to change my bandage and then saturday i'll be back on the road okay but i got ripley taken care of yesterday dropped him off at the grooming so he's done and everything um got my two-year dot physical card this is the new card now okay so you don't get that little card no more you just get this so got my two-year physical card um uh, listed everything that happened on my physical you know what i was diagnosed with my medicines that i'm on and everything and he said i was fine so other than that y'all back to work back to trekking and trying to get ready to still go to lancaster i have a 13 year old child march of dimes child 
that I will be taking with me on a truck. We're going to be doing the largest, one of the largest convoys in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, uh, which with the March of Dimes, and uh, each three of us women are going up there. It's going to be me, um, Adela, Miss Adela, also is going to be uh, Desiree. We will be up there in Lancaster. We each got a child, Mar March of Dimes child, mm -hmm. and that is going to be experience. So it's for Mother's Day. So I'm getting prepared for that. And uh, we just keep moving. We keep going, okay? Congratulations to everybody that uh, just graduated, got their CDL. I know y'all like, where the world she been? But yeah, I'll be back at it, y'all. I'm working on it. I got all these applications to do. Thank you so much for being patient with me. And as soon as I complete everything and let y'all know that I'm going to go back on the truck, I'm headed, I think I'm going to be headed back to Tampa tomorrow. Uh, to get ready to make sure I call the TA. They say that the, my truck is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And, you know, they'll hold it for me and everything till I get back. So I'm good to go, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. And y'all have a wonderful